Ian, you invited me to come along today with the promise of a, a signing, maybe mm -hmm. two. And I've been sitting here and, uh, what's that, four people now? Four now, yeah. Four people have come in and signed. Yeah. I've been here for a good part of the day. This is really a super Tuesday, in fact, <laughs> in terms of signings. You started me off earlier on with Alan Forrest and Craig McGuffey mm -hmm. coming back to the club. That is a yeah. fantastic thing. Yeah, listen, I've spoke to both players and, you know, if it was down to natural talent, then their careers were going to be huge. But unfortunately it's not, you know, you need other things, you know, in terms of, you know, mental strength, which I've got to say, I think they both have, particularly Alan, they're both very young players, you know, the strength, the pace, that type of thing, which I think they can add. Um, they've got to find consistency, they know that, but they're young boys, even though Alan's been here a number of years now, but, you know, I just, I, I wish sometimes our fans could see them in training sometimes, our players sometimes look at them and say, good, why, how are you here? Um, the world could be their oyster, they could do, they can go as far as they want, but they need to be more consistent, even as young players need to prove. But I really, really enjoy watching them. I enjoy watching them train, I enjoy watching them playing, not all the time. You know, I think the best, for example, the best individual performance I saw all season was Alan Forrest at Forfa, when he was absolutely out of this world. And the next couple of weeks he didn't do as well. So they've got to find a level of consistency, and it's a big, big season for both of them. They've obviously still got time on their side, but... We're thrilled as a club to have them here because they're just the type of boys you want, just the type of players you want if you if you want to play a certain way and we certainly wouldn't be changing how we're playing. Now, later on, <laughs> then, uh, Doc comes in and, and he signs back on. Now, he says he's got a, a, a contract till January mm -hmm. because he has to prove his fitness, yeah. but he's determined to do well. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all forgotten what a good player he is. I mean, uh, He's went through a real tough time and the type of operation he had cost an awful lot of money but, you know, according to the specialist and a physio, he'll make a full recovery and we hope to have him back for probably the end of July, uh, full training and available to play. So he can be a big player for us again. He's the club captain right now. Uh, we'll see how he, how he starts the season in terms of fitness. He might have to have somebody else the captain but he's been terrific for me. He just needs to, you know, get over this injury. All he's got to do is prove his fitness. He doesn't need to prove what a player he is. I, I know uh, what he is. I think if we can re-sign Mark Kerr at times, you know, the thought of playing Kerr and Doc at the end there is quite as mouth-watering for me because it then allows the other two midfielders, the other two strikers to just go for it because they fill gaps ever so well. So it's great news for us. And, and I think Ross is pleased that the club's stuck by him and... And, and, and try to look after them, albeit we've got, I think we've got a bit to go in terms of the operations, but we'll get there. Um, so we're thrilled, I'm absolutely thrilled that, he, that he's back, and he's a player that in our dressing room is very highly thought of as a boy. Uh, another thing as well, and I suppose it's the one that fans are going to absolutely wild about, you've re-signed Lauren Shankland, and that mm -hmm. is mouth-watering. Yes, yeah. uh, listen, I, I, I can't keep the smile off my face, I've got to say, I think, I had a meeting with him and his dad last week and money wasn't talked about, it was, it was about the type of boy he is, Lawrence, how loved he is at our club, how our supporters, which he is, hugely, I've got to say, as much as any player I've ever had at any club, uh, and how we've treated him, uh, the first thing I started was that he owes me nothing, he owes the club nothing. You know, he's got to make this decision for himself as well. And they went away and thought about that, and um, I'm glad to say he signed a year's contract, and it's a, just a huge piece of business for us. Because I, in my opinion, I, I don't see, if we are not going to change the way we play, obviously it'll be a bit tougher, but there's no way that boy won't score goals. You know, he's going to score goals. He can score on his right foot, his left foot, his head. He can come off, he can hold it in. Um, he's been absolutely outstanding and an exciting player to watch. Great boy in the dressing room. Um, it's just a big, big signing for us. Now, if we can just get Murray in with him, then I, I won't be looking for any strikers. So it's a huge thing for the club. Um, I think a lot of managers say about there was interest elsewhere, etc. Et well, I think it's pretty obvious there was. If I know there was, and, uh, you know, and he could have made double what he's on here. There's not there's maybe more than that. But if I think he, he believes in what we're doing and we believe in him and if he has another type of season he had, then I'll shake his hand and, and say away you go and he'll be going somewhere where he can really earn some, some money and 
and take his career uh, to the next level. But we like we'd like to think we can help him on that journey. And you know, in terms of he's shown that, you know, a, a little bit of loyalty to the club. We hope the fans now pick up our season tickets and AU five hundred you know, club, all that kind of stuff, and really go through the roof because. The way he was supported by our fans was one of the big re- that was my, one of my big selling points. You know, that, that was a big part of it. Um, and also, I think as well, a little bit, he didn't really want to end and getting sent off like that and missing the last two games because you, you saw him and Craig Moore in the last day of the season. They were the two most relieved boys in the, in the our club dressing room. So, I think it's a huge sign for our club, and uh, I'm sure he'll do fantastically well. Uh, uh, just coming back on what you said there about we need people like the 500 club to get more people mm-hmm. into season tickets as early as possible yes. as soon as they're announced to get out there. Mm-hmm. How has this affected your budget? Are you stretched at the moment? Well, we're stretched from day one, we're all stretched. It's as simple as that. But, you know, as I've got older in terms of management, I don't really, you see an awful lot of people talking about budget, I don't really do that now. I mean, it is what it is. Yes, it's stretched. Yes, it's going to be tough. Uh, but certainly Lons hasn't burst the bank, that's not the way it's been. Uh, if he wanted to earn more money, he wouldn't be here. Um, so, um, as I said before, let's get the season tickets bought up. The 500 Club has been a great thing. Let's double the amount of people that are in it just now. I think it's at, was it 40 something or something, I don't I can't remember. So let's really go for it, because you know you, you played a big part in Lawrence staying, Lawrence has now stayed, let's show, him, show all our players that we want a, a full Somerset Park. and. You know, those extra, maybe an extra 100, 200 season tickets could result in me either re-signing some of the other guys or making one or two new signings, which I hope to do. Thanks, Cheers.